Okay, first thing, I'm actually a right-handed player. Up until this point, I just not played with iMovie enough to figure out how to actually turn that image around, but I've done that now. Having said that, um, if it's preferable for me to look like a lefty, if somehow it's easier for you to tell what I'm doing um, with the image turned back the original way, uh, mirror image, leave me a comment or something, and next time I won't turn it around. All right, second thing. There are no videos of Ryan Adams playing this yet that I've seen, so I'm guessing as to the chords, but I think I've got to be pretty close because all the notes sound pretty much right. Uh, but again, disclaimer, may not be 100% accurate, but I'm pretty sure that I'm close on this one. Uh, on the album, it sounds like he's playing an electric guitar, so I am playing an electric here as well. And um, in the demonstration here, my guitar may sound a little bit differently than it did in the intro because I've repositioned where the microphone is at so that you can hear me speak a little bit better. All right, so the chords. You've got a B chord, a B chord, a C sharp minor chord, an A chord, and an E chord. And that's uh, those are the four chords that just repeat over and over in this song. The way that I'm making them, on the fifth string, second fret with my pointer, I'm fretting the fifth string, second fret. With my ring finger on the um, fourth string, fourth fret, I'm fretting with my ring finger. On the third string, fourth fret, I'm fretting with my pinky finger, B chord. Uh, four, oh, and you've got these uh, first and second strings up here that will drone open as you play through this chord. The second chord, I take my ring finger and I move it down one string to the fifth string, fourth fret, and I take my pointer finger and I move it up one string to the fourth string, second fret. So I'm actually just switching the positions of my ring and first finger right there to make the C sharp minor chord. Uh, so that's your C sharp minor chord with the same drone notes at the top ringing. Your A chord, you just pick up your ring finger and hit the A string, and there's your A chord. The last chord, uh, the E chord, I take my first finger and I bar the fifth and fourth strings on the second fret and hit the lowest E string, and there's your E chord. Those are the chords that you do throughout this song. As far as the picking goes, it sounds like it's being finger picked. You will move the progression with your thumb. You really just pluck once with your thumb per chord, um, and you're moving it like B, C sharp minor, A, E. But then after the plucks with each one, you're going to be hitting a strumming rhythm pattern down here with your fingers that's sort of an up and down. Alright, in terms of picking and, uh, and strumming this, finger picking and finger strumming this, you don't want to dig too deep into this song. It's a very, very light touch with your right hand in doing this. If you try to dig into it too much, you're going to get bad sounds, probably buzzing notes. Uh, it's a very, very light touch, and especially with your strums, with your fingers that you're flicking down, I'm using my fingernails right there to kind of just barely touch the strings. It's a very light touch that you're doing with this. And then of course with it being on electric, if you want a louder sound, you can just simply turn your volume up louder on your amp or whatever the case may be. Um, occasionally in the song it will just hold on the A note, like every so many measures it just holds on the A and then goes back into the B. So you can listen and hear where that happens as well. On the album, there are a lot of ambient swells and like super reverby things that are going on uh, that I don't know. Maybe Ryan Adams is playing them, or maybe you know a uh, lead guitarist in his band is playing them. I'm not sure. Without videos, it's hard to say precisely what they're doing. But I thought that I would show you some of the areas that it sounds like those swells were happening in, so that you can recreate them if you want to. Uh, a lot of them rely on kind of jangly sounds and droning notes, like the first two strings droning. Um, one area that it sounds like you can recreate one of the chord swells that happens around halfway through the song is if you fret the third string on the fourth fret and then just pick the last last three strings down. That's one of the swell areas that I hear. It's just got a ton of reverb on it as well. Um, now I don't necessarily hear this next chord voicing happening, but it's fun to play around with if you want to, like throwing down your pointer finger on the second string, 
uh, 2nd fret while leaving your ring finger where it's at, or your pinky finger down on the 2nd string 4th fret, or 1st finger on the 1st string 2nd fret. There's all sorts of voicings that you can be making down on the 9th fret even. Um, that, uh, that kind of fit with the swell patterns and the ideas and the sense of the song that's going on. Also, there is a riff that takes place in the last few seconds of the song that if you listen to it, you hear this guitar riff going on. It's pretty simple. I'll show you what it sounds like is happening there. I play it on the second string and the first string, uh, fretting the second string fifth fret and the first string seventh fret. Those are the first two notes. Then it slides up to the first string ninth fret and ends on the second string seventh fret. And there are a couple of ways to play this, um, but it sounds like this. So you can play it by sliding up to that ninth fret, or you can just pick up to the ninth fret, or you can play the whole thing on the first string if you wanted to and go. So those are just some ideas for you about where some, um, where some voicings are at that other guitar parts are doing during this song that you can play around with.